What are the qualities of a good modern curator? Um, you know, I think an eye, you know, and being able to recognize that artists have their own vision also, and being able to work within that vision, so that you know, it, it, it turns out like a collaboration almost, rather than a dictatorship. Um, I think um, I've been accepted as, a, as an artist curator. I think it's, uh, you know, again, you know, with the group of artists that I have in this show, especially, you know, it was, it was an honor that, you know, once I told them what was happening, they were, you know, more than gracious to get on board, you know, so I was honored by that, you know, especially because of who they are, and they've achieved in their careers. So what do you think of this day and age when the word curator is thrown, you know, around so much? Like, everyone curates nowadays. It's like an artist in, uh, or, or like an actor in L.A., you know, every waiter's a, <laughs> an actor, and here every, every waiter's a, an artist, so... You know, it, it's it's like right with anything. It, it's done well. It's done well. I have, a, I have a bath salts in my bathroom that says, "Making waves every day is exhausting," and then it's going like this. I, I can't throw the package away yet because it just reminds me of my job every day. Um, learning to work without a budget. Uh, learning to uh, evolve your people skills. Um, and getting to know the artists. To me, those are the most important things. I think it's a hip, it's always been a hip profession. Um, although people usually think you've got your hair in a bun and glasses on like a librarian. Yeah. Um, but I think it's very interesting that the word's being co-opted now. Well, I think a lot of things are changing in museums and people really look at attendance for museums and lots of decisions are made by committee. And that can be really hard because a curator's job is to be knowledgeable um, about the art world that he or she is, um, you know, an expert in, mm -hmm. and people need to rely on the curatorial view. But you can also do team curating and co-curating and things. But I think it's getting harder and harder because people want to curate by committee, and people look at it as a business. It's a challenging, it's a challenging uh, a position of diplomacy being a curator. You use your diplomatic skills every single day. I often get depressed and 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 have to deal with challenging issues and be like, oh my gosh, you know. And I don't, I wouldn't call myself, you know, I think a lot of curators get a rep reputation of being divas or being strict or whatever. I wouldn't call, I wouldn't, most of my friends and most of my colleagues, I wouldn't call that, but, but sometimes our reaction is like, you can't have red wine in the museum. And people just don't understand why you wouldn't want to have red wine in the museum. And people go, oh, that's, she's just being a curator. Um, so that's a little. That's the same, she's little, just being a curator now. She's just being a curator. <laughs> now I'm actually protecting the art I'm in charge of. Uh, yeah. Taking care of. Yeah. Another uh, comment I hear is from people is, oh yeah, I've been to the O'Keefe Museum. So people feel like if they've visited one time, they've seen uh, what we have to offer. And we change exhibitions just like everyone else does every three months or so. There was a recent article in the LA Times claiming that curators might be extinct. What is your take on that? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> I love being a curator, and I think uh, my training and skills distinguish me as someone with the qualities to pull together exhibitions and the research necessary to document exhibitions. Um, I think it's it's very easy now, and we all do it. You know, gather things off the web, and gather. you can go on uh, an art museum's website and curate your own gallery. But um, when you come right down to it, it takes a lot of careful training and study to put things together. Um, art galleries will always be around, and they can gather the timely shows and put something together in a month. But a curator adds another level, which is scholarship and the research that goes along with that. Um, I think we're going through a shakeup. We talked about that earlier this evening, where people are expecting different things. But we all agree that the old 19th century model, the curator knows everything and puts the objects out, and you should come and deeply enjoy that or be uh, less educated and, and uh, less smart than someone else. That's gone forever. The visitor experience is important to a curator, not just the people who are collecting the money at the front door. It's a fascinating world to be a part of, and I hope to be a curator as long as I can. Awesome, thank you. <laughs>